I think like anything that for me that went on later on in my career in the NFL, like Mickey Andrews challenged me mentally from a standpoint of you will be challenged in so many ways mentally that you will be prepared to just walk through anything. Awesome. And that was something that I took from Mickey um, going into my NFL career. It was just like anything mentally, like you have a short term memory, anything that bothers you outside of football. And you know, you got to block all that stuff out to be the player that you need to be on the field. Yeah. Um, he just he just taught me so much mentally and, and, and from a standpoint of just putting things into perspective of what's what you're playing for, basically. Yeah. What That's are you awesome. for? What are you why are you playing this game? Because you gotta have something to play for. Because you can't just be out here. It can be for the love of the game, it can be for the fame, it can be for uh whatever it is, but you gotta have something to play for. And that's what he challenged me mentally at. Um, and I learned so much from him um, the year that I tore my ACL. Mm -hmm. um, just from a standpoint of the game. Um, he, Crow, you know, we're gonna be in the in the meeting rooms at 545. You know, this is before they had these old 20 hour rules. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right with that and yeah. all that stuff. Meet me there at sun up. Meet me, uh, you know, and he just, broke the game down to me. Maybe yeah. taught me how to watch film, uh, taught me how to look at things in a different way from a defense coordinator standpoint, or why certain calls may be called and things like that. And th at that point in time, my sophomore year, uh, we had um, uh, Kirby left and James Cozy came back. Yeah. GA. So like having like Coach Cozy and Mickey Andrews and those guys in our office and, and I mean, say in that, in that meeting room, it was, it came easy to me.